that um, we are not conceding uh, any results uh, that is coming uh, out of this election because we believe that there are issues um, that must be addressed by IBC and the concerned authorities. Uh, the reasons why we feel that um, uh, we should not accept the outcome of uh, these elections is because we have seen massive, massive movement of uh, uh, security uh, apparatuses, uh, particularly in uh, Isiolo Central, and uh, we have have uh, incidents of these uh, security uh, officials actually um, interfering. Uh, with the voting patterns uh, within uh, polling stations. They have interfere, interfered uh, with how, you know, uh, voters uh, in different polling stations have continued, uh, you know, with, the, with their voting, uh, obstructing uh, voters, in some cases, uh, you know, openly uh, chasing out uh, uh, voters that were actually, um, you know, uh, supporting especially uh, some of our candidates. Uh, so we believe uh, this is uh, premeditated uh, actions uh, by security apparatuses, and we feel that uh, this question must be answered. We have never seen this extraordinary deployment of special GSU uh, in uh, civilian uh, elections uh, as it were. So we feel um, that uh, these uh, GSU were purposefully uh, deployed uh, in Isiolo, uh, particularly Isiolo Central, which has the largest block of uh, voters. And uh, we feel um, uh, some of us, uh, especially those of us who are seated here, have been targeted. Uh, personally, the governor uh, and the women rep and the senator and the MP Solo North. I think uh, we feel uh, jubilee uh, as a party uh, probably has used uh, government machinery uh, to interfere with the elections uh, in Siolo County. We want to uh, uh, make it clear that uh, we will not let it go. We will go all the way uh, to make sure that uh, uh, the right thing uh, was done. Uh, of course, we will take up the issues with the IBC. So uh, from the voter transfers to uh, registrations, we feel that uh, there have been a lot of uh, irregularities. Uh, we have the evidence uh, that those transfers were done through the back doors. And uh, we feel uh, we had taken up the matter with the concerned authorities, especially the IBC but uh, we were not listened to, and those who were behind uh, those transfers uh, were not uh, made to answer. When people are on the queue and they were denied right to vote, this happened in water kiosk, it also happened in LMT and Uru Primary, where our voters were turned away, despite the fact that they were in the queue be before the stipulated time ran out. But there was double standard in this because I was in Garmar at midnight and I could clearly see new voters being mobilized to join the queue past the stipulated time. There's no problem in voters voting past the time as long as they were in the queue. But there were additional voters being ferried into the line in areas in Garmara. And you know that uh, most of our agents in Garmara and the Niro areas, we were not able to reach them. It looks like uh, there was a conduit, a well-orchestrated plan to inflate the figures in those regions uh, to boost up the numbers of our opponents. Uh, at the same time, in areas where 
we, uh, that are perceived to be our strongholds, the issue was not the same. This, in conclusion, clearly shows that there is a well-orchestrated plan to influence the outcome of this election, both from IBC and the security apparatus. In light of all this, after consultation with also my colleagues, we have decided not to accept this result and reject it in totality. And we are going to do all that is within our means, within the law. And I repeat again, within the law, to reject these results until justice is delivered to the people of Israel. We are not accepting the outcome of this election or whatever will be announced by IBC for the reason is he stated and some I will add. First of all, this election has been made with a lot of irregularities from the beginning, from the morning when most of the polling stations were open very late uh, in areas of Oloniro, Martisab County, because the ballot papers arrived very late and uh, they were not given extra time to compensate for the time that were lost, uh, witnessed in some polling station where some voters were given more than one ballot papers. And I will give you an example of Wabera Premali, one of the streams. I was there. We raised the issue. Um, our, our agents raised the issue. And even the, the specific person who was given. And when I confronted the presiding officer, he said it was a mistake of one of the clerks. As the governor has said, there was a lot of voter bribery. <coughs> especially around Waso, uh, uh, Waso Secondary and many other polling stations. And two or so persons were arrested. We wanted to know what action has been taken by IBC to bring those people to, to books. Thirdly, there was massive, and I mean massive, deployment of GSU on the voting day. And I, it really kept us wondering what was the motive, because Isiolo people were so peaceful, there were no chaos of violence reported. So for us, that was only meant to intimidate ourselves and our supporters, and that has clearly worked. That you can see from the voter turnout. The voter turnout in some places was like 50% or even less. Uh, prior to that, you have made witness that we were summoned for allegations that were not proven, for allegations that does not exist. So that's all a pile up of you know, intimidation and also to make it look like the face of our other voters that we are violent people and we should not be voted in. So that was used to kind of a smear campaign to sort of sway uh, voters to the other, other side. Why up to, this is like now going to the second or third day, every other place, including a very highly populated counties like Kiambu, did the election and by the following day announced all their voters, all their uh, the, the results from the governor to MCA. Why is it that it has taken so long? We have witnessed in some of the polling stations where the presiding officers and all the election officials abandoned the polling stations and left. In some, they were even saying they will not commence the, voting, uh, the counting until they rest. So all this has created a room for, to create irregularities 